Hi guys, so if any of you guys follow my channel, you know that I've been doing um, a gratitude challenge this year, 2016, and I've been posting it on my Instagram and linking it to my Facebook and my Twitter. All three go with the username Candid Newfie Gal. And you also know that I had intention of doing videos every month showing the pictures and stuff that I posted on Instagram. I got that done for January and February. Late, but I got them up at least within, like, I got January, within February, February, within March. Then today, driving home, thinking about, oh, I think since my husband's not going to be home and I can film in the living room, I'll do the home sweet home tag, which you guys will see um, in probably a week or so. Um, driving home, I realized I haven't done my gratitude or my weight loss transformation videos in two months. I haven't done March. I haven't done April. Today is May 31st, so May's can be done for gratitude. So I'm going to do those three videos up really quick. And then I'm going to do my March and April weight loss transformation. And then this after the Sunday when I do my weigh-in and, and uh, inches, I'll do my May weight loss transformation so hopefully I'll have March, April, May of gratitude up by the end of this week. Today's Tuesday so by Friday and then next week I will have up um, my weight loss transformation for April, May or sorry March, April, May and then maybe on the weekend I will post the Home Sweet Home Take. So we're going to start with March 1st, day 61 of gratitude. Today I am grateful that Midnight ate some wet food. She is losing weight, which means she is getting sicker. The fact that she is eating wet food is a good sign, e even if only for a short time. So here's a picture of her that day. Um, and she actually passed away on the 9th of March, so she didn't make it much further. And I am actually going to do a video about her because people have been asking if she came through her cancer, if she had surgery again, what happened. Um, so I will do uh, another video on her um, in the coming weeks. Day 62 of gratitude. Today I'm grateful for a distra distraction from a shitty day. Um, I hope this movie is good. So I'm not really sure what was going on with that day. Probably stressed out about midnight and about trying to find a new job and all those things. And so my husband and I and his best friend went to see Triple Nine. It wasn't a great movie, but it was definitely a good distraction. Um, day 63 of Gratitude. Today I'm grateful for Grey's Anatomy and the lessons it teaches. So this is a cast picture from a few seasons ago of Grey's Anatomy. It still has Derek Shepard in it. And he passed away last season. And it has Christina Yan, Yang. Can't remember what her last name was. Um... Meredith's best friend who went overseas a couple seasons ago. And I think there's someone else in this picture that's not there anymore. And now that I look at it, I cannot figure out who it is. But anyways, I love that show. Can't believe it's going into season 13 in September. Um, day 64 of gratitude. Today I'm grateful for the gift of sight. So this is just an eye chart. And I get these just off Google standard pictures usually. Unless I take the picture myself. Um... And on that day, um, my Grammy was starting to have problems with her eyes again. I was going to have to go back to the eye doctor. And although I wear glasses, I have good sight. I don't have glaucoma or anything from my diabetes. And my grandmother has the, excuse me, the dry version of, um, oh my goodness, I can't even remember what it's called, where the retina detaches. Anyways, she's going blind. She has... No sight in one eye and like 35% in the other. So I was just very grateful to be able to see. Day 65 of gratitude, which was March 5th, which is my birthday. Today I'm grateful for another year on this beautiful earth. So this is a picture of me at supper when I went out to supper with my husband that night. Um, day 66 of gratitude. Today I'm grateful for a beautiful birthday weekend. So it's just a purple heart because as you guys know... Purple is my favorite color. Um, day 67 of gratitude. Today I'm grateful to be able to help my cousins deal with the things that need to be done after their dad 
um, after the passing of their dad. And the picture says, a cousin is a ready-made friend for life. And so I have one uncle, though I often say I don't have family where I live. Um, I do have one uncle who's lived out here my whole entire life. And he has three kids, one that's the same age as me and two that are significantly younger that he was estranged from. Um, and I talked about this in my rough times video that I posted back in March. But essentially, um, no one had heard from him in three, four weeks, which was not totally uncommon because they didn't have a great relationship, him and his kids. But anyways, um, his oldest son, the one that's the same age as me, went over to see him. And they actually found him passed away in his bed. And they suspected he was there for about three weeks. So his kids are just feeling very guilty, like they should have went over sooner. They went over sooner, they would have found the body and all that sort of stuff. So it was very difficult for them. Um, and I was still off work at that time. I had been laid off again because I got laid off again in February. So I just kind of dedicated that day to helping them clean up the apartment and all that sort of stuff. And then I didn't do anything the next day because day 68 of gratitude today, I'm grateful to have been able to spend the, spend time with Midnight. So this is a picture of Midnight the day before she passed away. My husband took the day off work and we just spent the day with her, cuddling her, loving her. Um, that sort of thing. Um, and then I didn't do anything the following day with my cousins either because day 69 of grad two today, I am extremely grateful to have been able to be Midnight's mummy for the last 14 years. I love you to the moon and back. Rest in peace, Midnight, April 22nd, 2002 to March 9th, 2016. Mummy and daddy will love you to the end of time. This is actually a picture of her right after she got all of her bandages off after her first surgery so that was last may so this is she had her surgery no sorry it was june that she had her surgery when we came back from newfoundland after my mother-in-law passed away so it's probably a picture of her late june early july last year which is the healthiest she's been in the last three years all the tumor had been removed even though it grew back very fast um day 70 of grad two today i'm grateful the day is over I have no idea what was going on on March 10th. This is why I should be doing these monthly, so I could give you more information. But I just used my standard stock picture, what I'm grateful for today. Um, day 71 of gratitude. Today I'm grateful for flips and flops. Yay, spring. So this is March 11th, and this is just a picture of one of my many pairs of Dr. Scholl's sandals. Or flip-flops, sorry. And that's, I don't think this is the first day I wore flip-flops, but... That was the first day that my husband didn't look at me and was like, what are you doing? Because usually he's like, why are you wearing flip-flops? It's freezing out. Or why are you wearing flip-flops? There's snow on the ground. And we actually had no snow then. And I think he actually wore his sandals that day too, which is very strange for my husband because he wears socks and shoes until his feet are boiling off in the middle of summer. Then he'll wear sandals for a few weeks. Um, day 72 of gratitude. Today I'm grateful to be able to buy a house. So I just used the stock picture because I didn't have a picture of my house at that time. Or not one that I could post that posted real well. Um, so yes, I've talked about this in a few videos, but my husband and I are building a house and we will be moving in uh, end of July, beginning of August. Um, day 73 of gratitude. Today I'm grateful we all got rest and getting rid of our cold. So this is just a, p a picture of what my husband used in conjunction with our asthma medication. It's Buckley Golden Science Complete Liquid Gels, the day and nights. Um, so my husband and I were both sick and so were two of our cats. Um, day 74 of gratitude. Today I'm grateful Brad is starting to feel better. His asthma was really, really acting up and his puffers finally started to work. So I just used the, the stock picture. Um, day 75 of gratitude. Today I'm grateful to be able to, to be able to have been able to pick up Midnight's ashes. Can't wait for her paw prints to be ready in a few months so I can make a memorial shelf for her. So this is Midnight's ashes. It's in a mother of pearl container with a gold little band on the front that's engraved with Midnight. Um, so we actually have picked up her paw print since and we're working on what one of our shelves in our carrier cabinet is going to be a dedication to her. Um, but we're not going to set that up until we move. Um, day 74 of graduate today. I'm grateful for my cuddly for baby Casper. 
So this is um, not the day after. This is about a week after Midnight passed away. Casper is usually very, very sooky, but he was extra extraordinary sooky um, during that time. And I think he was just reacting to Midnight being gone because Midnight was born in April of 2002 and he was born in October and we got him in like the end of November, beginning of December, so they pretty much grew up together. They're actually the mom and dad of Don and Dusky, two of my other cats. Um, day 77 of gratitude. Today I'm grateful for my amazing friend Dixie, who actually gave me this sweater, and she's wearing it in this picture. She's actually the the girl that does, I call her the lady, but she's like 12 years younger than me. She's also the, the girl that does my nails and my eyebrows. Day 78 of gratitude. Today I am grateful for my amazing friend Lucy and the learned experiences we take away from our shared strange experiences. So this is my wonderful friend Lucy. When she went to Thailand by herself, she's like 23. This past year she went to Thailand by herself right after Christmas. Thailand by herself on a three-week three -week bus trip. Um, but what I was talking about there is we had some crazy experiences when we were on the Chris's unit together, but we actually both, I still haven't went back to work then, we had both actually applied for the same job, and we both had very strange interviews with this, the same company, and that day we had talked about it, and we're like shaking our heads, like, thank goodness neither one of us got that job, because it was just weird, the organization was just strange. Uh, day 79 of gratitude, today I'm grateful for my husband, Hiller, my lungs are truly burning from this cold allergy combination. I have gotten in my lungs. So this is the puffer that I, the emergency puffer I was put on when I had pneumonia in September when I was getting ready to go home to see my Grammy. Um, I was taking off a Ventolin and put on this one. Um, it's I can't remember the name of it and I can't see it properly in that picture. Um, but I'm actually going to do a little video about it because it's amazing. It's the best rescue inhaler I've ever had. Um, Day 80 of gratitude today. I'm grateful for How I Met Your Mother. It's a great way to spend a sick day on the coach. So this is just a, a picture of the cast. Day 81 of gratitude today. I'm grateful to be able to rest. My husband's cold has taken a hold on me and won't let go. So my husband was pretty much better by this time. This is just a stock funny picture from the internet of being sick. And I was getting sicker and sicker. Knit it up with another lung infection. Day 82 of gratitude. Today I'm grateful for local businesses. So this is just the stock picture. Um, my eye was very sick and had really no appetite, but my husband was back to normal and he was able to, we were able to go to a local restaurant and get me some nice chicken noodle soup and he was able to get like a nice fresh meal. I can't remember what he had. But it was a locally owned business and yeah, it was amazing to be able to support them because there's not a lot around where I live. There's not even a lot in the province that I live in. So it was very nice to be able to support them. Day 83 of gratitude. Today I'm grateful for the skill of deep breathing. And this picture is actually my profile picture on my personal Facebook. It says, take a deep breath. It's just a bad day, not a bad life. So I was having some sort of struggle that day. I'm not 100% sure what it was. Day 84 of gratitude. Today I'm grateful for the small things. And it just says enjoy the little things in life. Day 85 of gratitude. Today I'm grateful for the springtime even though my allergies are really bothering me. So that's just the stock picture. The, gra the grass is starting to turn green. The leaves are starting to come out. Uh, I hope Casper doesn't knock over the other thing. Um, it was just a really good day. Um, day 86 of gratitude. Today I'm grateful for the Atlantic Cheesecake Cafe, or sorry, company, and their amazing gluten-free cheesecake. So this is just their logo. It's made in Atlanta, Georgia, but they ship it through Sobeys in Canada. Hi, Sook Face. Hello, Sookie Face. Don, don't please. Um, day 87 of, can you guys see his head? Day 87 of gratitude. Today I'm grateful for these bad boys. They allow me to do what I had to do this weekend without having to use prescription medication. I call that a win. So this is just the wall, a picture of the Walmart brand 
of Robaxacet um, muscle relaxants and I was having a lot of problems with my back from my injury that I had in um, last January from my car accident I had at work and I don't like taking the prescriptions they're hard on my stomach plus I don't like taking prescription medication for pain um, and so these ones actually help so that's good um, day 88 of gratitude today I'm grateful for Dusky and her cuddles she has been struggling with the passing of her mummy I am glad that she has been turn, turning to me for her mummy cuddles instead of isolating herself like she did at first so this is just a picture of Dusky Rue who is one of Midnight's daughters and for the first week after she passed away um, we didn't see Dusky she has hid away um, I'm assuming she ate and drank um, but we never saw her and then after about a week she started to turn around and now she seemingly is back to normal and what are we April, May, we're almost three months past Midnight Passing, that's amazing it's been a long while uh, day 89 of gratitude today I'm grateful to be able to talk to my Grammy every day and this is just a picture from when I was there in September visiting her and that person in the back is my mom uh, day 90 of gratitude today I'm grateful to be able to be cross trained in many different ways so I'm able to help many different people um, and I just used the stock picture of what are you grateful for um, and that was just there was the beginning of my job search sort of coming together and some job opportunities coming forward and in many different areas in many different ways and I'm starting to get a little bit of selection of what I wanted to do when I was kind of getting scared that I might have to leave the social work field because of the economy um, but luckily I didn't I'm still a social worker and then day 91 of gratitude so this is the last day for March today I'm grateful for Chris and Heidi Powell and their new book extreme transformation it day is teaching me so much helping me stay motivated and reinforcing that I am not alone in my journey hashtag keeping promises to myself I love these two I hope to someday meet these two I read all their books, I read their blogs, I read their um, Facebook, Instagram, I just absolutely love them. So that is my month of March, took me 17 and a half minutes to describe. Um, so if you have any questions about any of that stuff, please leave the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And please remember to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks guys, bye bye.